The Western States Wild Horse and Burrow Expo kicks off today with an interesting twist involving Nevada prisoners. That's right. Dina Cuffer joins us now live. She's at the Reno Livestock Event Center with more on the saddle trained horses available for adoption. Hey there, Dina. Good noon, Bill and Melissa. Well, from wild to domesticated, the horses available for adoption this weekend at the Reno Livestock Event Center have gone through months of training, and it's all by a group of men who are seizing the opportunity to make a better life for themselves. This is no ordinary ranch. You spend so much time with the horse, that you're like, he's like your best friend. And these are no ordinary ranch hands. Without this opportunity, I think I'd make some stupid decisions when I got out. From sitting in a cell behind bars to saddling up a horse, these inmates of the Northern Nevada Correctional Center have 120 days to turn some of the most feral wildlife roaming the Nevada desert into domesticated animals. A win-win situation all the way through. Director Hank Corey says the inmates that go through the saddle horse training program are less likely to end up back behind bars. Men are learning skills. They're learning responsibilities. Uh, we're offering a horse to the public, and we're actually getting the horses off the public lands. And from an untamed life of their own, these inmates teach the horses to work with humans. Where a horse is just totally terrified, you have to prove to him over and over again that you're not going to harm him. And doing that takes time and patience. Inmates work with the horses at least five days a week, eight hours a day. My favorite thing, riding. I've loved the ride now. Inmate Fred Winkler has trained 14 horses during his two and a half years in the program. I think working with these horses make me think, think way clearer, think about what's going on in my life, you know, and it made me realize I got to change. And it's a monumental day for Alessandro Barajas, who after two years is spending his last day on the ranch. I learned another trait. I'm not perfect, but I know my, my arounds a little bit, you know, so it, it's something that actually you can take to the streets and and do something about it. And the auction for the prison train horses begins today with a viewing for spectators who want to come out and take a look at those horses. Right now at noon, they're going to be opening up the Livestock Event Center and then again at 6 o'clock for viewing tonight, tomorrow at 10 a.m. and then the auction kicks off tomorrow, Saturday at 1230 in the afternoon. Reporting live here from the Reno Livestock Event Center, I'm Dina Kupfer. Bill and Melissa, back to you. All right, great story. Thank you, Dina.